if Shelley's one of the greatest poets in English literature, how come nobody gives a shit about him today? That's a complicated question. Wordsworth wrote, I wandered lonely as a cloud, but clouds don't have legs, do they? Yeah. So how was he allowed to get away with that kind of stuff? To find out more, I went to speak to an expert. Who was Ron? Among the Romantics, you mean? Yeah. Um, William Godwin was quite wrong. He believed that there should be no laws at all in society. No, who's Ron? Ron? Uh, is there a Ron? Yeah, the one that wrote all the poems and signed them by Ron. Yeah, that, that was his family name, Byron. Lord George Byron. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Who was the man from Nantucket that Byron wrote about in his poem? I don't remember that poem. It's the one that goes, there was a young man from Nantucket. Is that Byron? I think so. It's really good. How did it end? What exactly was Jane Austen? Jane Austen was a woman from Hampshire who wrote novels. Is that it? Yes, that's it, absolutely. When are they going to translate Jane Austen's books into proper English? You know, from, like, ancient English? Because they're sort of hard to concentrate on, aren't they, now that we've got, like, forms and stuff? Well, she's not that hard, really. The sentences have sometimes got some nice balancing clauses with a lot of humour in them. Why do they keep making Jane Austen's books into films and TV shows? There's only about five of them, isn't there? Whereas, like, there's 50 Mr Men books and they haven't done all of those yet. I think there are lots of reasons for that. Um, people love the love stories. Uh, they like the costumes. Um, they're also wonderful books with lots of opportunities for, for humour. Are we talking about Jane Austen or Mr Men? Probably both. Yeah. Who's your favourite Mr Man? Mr Tickle, probably. Yeah. Love Mr Tickle.